Hi and welcome to Deep Papa's Living a Flip Flop Life. Now, if you're looking for ways of ranking your videos or posts on Google, on the first page of Google and on YouTube, then keep on watching. I have something that might interest you and I want you to see the demo uh, from Ray and Ray's gonna take it over uh, right now. Hey folks, Ray here and I wanted to do a quick video showing you the inside of Traffic Trigger and how it works to distribute your videos and get backlinks to those videos so that you can rank to the top of Google and YouTube. So here I am inside the dashboard of Traffic Trigger and you can see on the left hand side we have a menu for Projects, Accounts, Publish, Queue, Links Manager and then your personal settings down here. So we're going to start off by heading over to Projects. Now the way this works is you start off by creating a new project. You can see I've got a couple of different projects in here already. One for Escape Room Black Book and one for Lake Elsinore Roofer. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start a brand new one. And once again, we're going to do a roofing video. And this time we're going to call it San Diego Roofer. And then we can put a description in here. This is for our own purposes. So uh, roofing videos for San Diego area. And once we're done with that, we simply hit create. And you'll see we now have a new San Diego roofer inside of here. And if we come over here, we can click on accounts, edit or delete. If we hit edit, it's just gonna allow us to make those changes again. And if we hit accounts, you'll be able to bring in your accounts that you're going to publish this to. Now you'll notice when you start your new project, you're not going to have any logins for any of your websites here. And the reason for this is because each project you do might be using different accounts. So you might have a different Twitter account for project B than you were using for project A. One thing you can do is to go back to one of your past projects like so, and you can actually take these and bring them into the other project. And all you have to do for that is click on the ones that you want to bring over, go to operation, and you can copy selected accounts to the project. You then choose the project and hit copy accounts. Once you do that, you can do that with each and every one of these categories. And then once you do that, you'll be able to distribute your new project out to all of those websites. I'm going to do that right now and then we'll come back. Okay, I've copied all of my sites over to the new project. So now we can go back to the San Diego Roofer project. And when you do, you'll notice that we have accounts inside of each of these. Now you notice that I have two YouTubes and I have two Daily Motions and one of the rest. Now the great thing about Traffic Trigger is that if you create or have seven VO accounts, you can put all seven VO accounts in here. If you've got 10 Vimeo accounts, you can put 10 Vimeo accounts in here. 10 Daily Motions, put 10 Daily Motions. 15 Photo Buckets, put in 15 Photo Buckets. 32 Tumblr accounts, put in 32 Tumblr accounts. And the same thing for YouTube. And what's going to happen is as you distribute out your videos, they'll be distributed out to all of those sites that you have in here. So if you've got 10 VOs and, and 20 Daily Motions and 52 fo Photo Buckets, it's going to put those videos out to each of those sites so that you can get some action all throughout your entire network. Okay, so once we have our accounts set up for this particular project, next thing we want to do is we want to actually publish something. So we're going to come over to publish and we're going to hit video. Now you'll notice here that immediately you've got San Diego Roofer, select post, there's no post in there yet, so you have to add one. So we're going to hit the add button here and you'll see that it comes up with create new video. Now this is where the fun really begins. You'll notice that just like inside of YouTube, you've got your title, your descriptions, and your tags. And those are going to work just like normal, as well as the category. So if we want to change our category, we can come in and choose uh, education. Okay. And then you've got the ability to upload a video. So we're going to create a nice little description in here, and I'm going to copy it from a file that I've already created. Okay, so I've pasted in a nice long article that you can see in here. It's got a good long description. And what we're going to do now is we're going to have a little bit of fun with this. So you can see here where it says San Diego. Well, we're going to give this a title. Now, typically a title might be like San Diego Roofer. And then something like uh, how to find the best roofer for your San Diego home, something like that. Okay. 
Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to have some fun with this and create a whole bunch of videos. Because what we have is we have a one video that we've created for the San Diego roofers. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to this button at the very top that says add new shortcut. And this is where some of the real magic happens. Now for a shortcut, you can manually add a shortcut name and some values, but you can also go by zip code and by map. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna give this a shortcut name of cities. And then we're gonna skip on down here to our radius and our city name. Okay, so obviously our city name is San Diego, California. And we're gonna put in a radius of 15 miles. And now we're gonna search on the map and watch what happens here. Now you'll notice that all of a sudden we've got some pins down here near San Diego. And if we zoom in on these pins, you'll see that we have a whole bunch of them in here. And each of these is an area around San Diego. So as you can see here, we've got uh, Colonia Herrera, we've got Con Concepci, we've got San Isidro, we've got Nestor, we've got South San Diego, Palm City, Imperial Beach, Ote, Fruitdale, Harborside, etc., etc., etc. All these different cities, okay? Those are all the cities that are in a 15 mile radius of San Diego. Now, why did we do this? Well, let's say that you're gonna be ranking a video locally for San Diego. You want to get San Diego roofers um, some leads. Well, it's gonna be much easier to rank for Concepci, California, or Colonia Herrera, California, than San Diego. And of course, many people that are in some of these cities around San Diego might be searching for a roofer, but they're over here in uh, San Isidro. And so they're gonna be looking for one in San Isidro. And so now what we've got is we've got all these different cities that we can rank a video for so that our San Diego roofer can start getting business in all of these other cities and take leads from all of these other cities, okay? So once we have all of these values in here, all we have to do is hit create. And so now what we can do is we come into our title and instead of San Diego, we're gonna have it say something different we're gonna have it say cities. And actually let's delete San Diego out of there. And so now you see it says cities roofer. Okay, so what's gonna happen is as we do this, and we're gonna do this in here as well. We're gonna replace that with cities, okay? And of course over here, we've also got it, it says San Diego here. We're gonna do the same thing there. And so now what's going to happen is when we create our videos, each time it says cities with these brackets, it's going to replace that with a different city. So one of these might say San Diego roofer, how to find the best roofer for your, and of course we wanna put it in here as well, San Diego home. And then it would say San Diego, you don't really think we forgot you, did you, blah, blah, blah. And now when we set the next video up, it's gonna change from San, Fran uh, San Diego to you know, uh, San Isidio or, or whatever some of those other cities were that were listed there. It's gonna create a video for each and every city automatically. So you don't have to do this. The software is going to make one for each one of those cities automatically. And what it's going to do is it's going to change that video just a little bit so that even if you upload it to the same YouTube channel, so you might have two, three, four videos that go to one YouTube channel, YouTube is going to see them as completely unique videos. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is come down to file name. If you upload your video with an MP4 file that has your keyword in it, some say that that can help you rank better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in cities and I'm gonna put a dash just cause I like to do that and then put roofer.mp4. Okay, and so now what's gonna happen is when we upload our video and then we distribute it out, it's going to create a new MP4 file that it sends to that particular website or that particular YouTube channel. And it's going to say what that city is inside of here, dash roofer.mp4 to give you even bigger boost as far as rankings go. Tags, same thing. So you want to put city and then roofer. And roofer cities. And then maybe roofing cities and cities roofer okay 
And now we can upload our video file. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna find one for ourselves here. There's a roofer video right here. Okay, we're gonna open that. And you see it's gonna bring the file into here. We can also upload thumbnails. I haven't created any, so we're not gonna do that at this point. We're just gonna generate random thumbnails. Now you'll notice down here in the notes, thumbnail upload is available for confirmed by phone number YouTube accounts only. So you have to have in a confirmed account on YouTube in order to use a custom thumbnail if you upload one here or upload a few of them here. Okay, that's, so that's just something I want you to be able to understand with that. Now, the other thing is we can also spin any of this content. So if you've got uh, a spinner that you use, the best spinner or, you know, or whatever one it happens to be, you can actually spin your content here as well. Personally, I, I find the, the need for it when you're going to different sites, but you can do that. You can use normal spin text. Uh, to do that and whatever whatever spinner that you use, you can integrate into this. Now, once we're done with this, we can create, and that's going to distribute this out to all of those websites that we set up earlier, the YouTube, the Vimeos, the Daily Motions, the Vios, and it's going to put those videos out there for everybody to see in all those different cities. So for instance, in this case, I don't know how many cities we actually had there, but let's say that we had uh, 10 cities, which I think we had more, Two of them might go, two of those videos might go to daily motion. Two of them might go to the next one. Two of them might go to the next one. Two of them might go to the next one until it reaches all 10. Okay. And that's going to get things out there in all those different websites. And so all we have to do for that is hit create. And you'll see in just a second here, it's going to create our project here. And now we can choose which video sites we want to send it to. Okay. So in this case, we've got a couple of daily motions, a photo bucket, a Tumblr, a VO, and a couple of YouTube accounts as well. And so now what we can do is we can simply hit publish. And you see it's going to give us a published starting date. You can choose, in this case, I'm choosing today's date, and I'm going to choose uh, 7 o'clock p.m. for our start. And we're going to spread it out over seven days, so it's going to publish equally over seven days so that it doesn't look all spammy. And then we're gonna hit yes, publish. Now you'll notice here that it says, we don't recommend you submit uh, more than five spun videos per one video channel. And I did this on purpose because I wanted you to see this. What they're talking about here is, in our case here, we've got a lot of videos and we've got two YouTube accounts in here, which means that uh, each of those accounts would be taking more than five of the same video. And they don't recommend you do that just because when we spin the videos, the more videos we spin to the same YouTube account, the more of a possibility that two of them might be identical and might get rejected. Now, if you do five to each one, it's going to be, it should be perfectly fine. You shouldn't have YouTube complaining that it's duplicate content. You start doing more than five and there's a possibility that the algorithm could repeat itself a little bit and you would have that issue. You may not, but um, so we can just hit okay for this and you can see the publishing has successfully started. And so now you can see our videos are scheduled out over the next few days to all of our different sites. You can see it's gonna to go to YouTube multiple times, Vimeo, Vio, Tumblr, Photobucket, and Daily Motion because we have two Daily Motions. You can see there's a lot more that are gonna go there. And so over these next few days, these videos are gonna to start to go out to each of these sites. Now, when they do so, if your description has a link back to your website, it can help you with SEO. It's also gonna help you to get phone calls if you get your phone number in there. And the basic idea is that you're going to be put out everywhere on the internet multiple times for different cities. And when people start to search, they're going to find you. They're going to make a phone call to you or they're going to buy your product. Now, this is how this works in this case locally. Of course, anything that you want to do with selling a product, it works exactly the same. You may not be targeting cities, but you might be targeting different types of people. You might be targeting uh, different. So there you have it. It's uh, imagine being able to post multiple videos on multiple channels together with a contact content that will drive traffic back to your websites, blog posts, and all these different platforms that you've seen inside, which is going to be backlinking your videos. And it's all done through the process of going through and creating your first uh, uh, project on uh, traffic trigger. Okay. And it's very simple on how you create things. 
you saw the demo and uh, you saw what you can do and you saw the power of it okay think out of the box think of building uh, loads of uh, content with just really quickly content with your affiliate links and everything now this is a project created by Alex Kulik which is my partner as well so I definitely vouch for what he's putting out and this is what's been helping us uh, basically rank our videos and posts and blog posts and a lot of people are thinking that you need to create videos yourself but there are done for you videos inside the traffic trigger okay and basically you're gonna be ranked and on first page of Google in matter of minutes okay no doubt there's proof inside there's the demos go check the links and ask me any questions if you want I got first access to Alex for any problems that you might uh, have this is a uh, cloud based you don't need to download any softwares uh, and you're ready to go okay thank you and I'll talk to you soon